March 29, 2019 was meant to be a momentous occasion for NASA. Astronauts Christina Cook and Anne McLean were set to do the first all-female spacewalk outside the International Space Station. Unfortunately, that spacewalk was canceled. The reason? A wardrobe malfunction. They had the wrong top for Anne McLean. A seemingly simple oversight. But it's an oversight that was created by NASA's male-dominated history, highlighting an issue that will affect spaceflight into the future. The differences between men and women living in space has been studied for decades. In the beginning, NASA, following the military protocol at the time, actually excluded women from training. Fast forward a few decades and you've got a big problem. Spacesuits are not all one size fits all. When it comes to spacewalks, size does matter. But like fashion on Earth, it became more practical to develop them in a more general size, especially since they cost millions of dollars to create. This led to NASA cutting sizes to cut costs, usually the smaller sizes. And a lot of women need the smaller sizes. This was fine for a while, but the start of the International Space Station brought along a requirement for spacewalks for occasional repairs. So what's a female astronaut to do? As for Anne McLean, she may have missed her chance at the first all-female spacewalk, but this is not her first space rodeo, nor will it be her last. So is NASA's canceling of the first all-female spacewalk due to sexism, or is the administration just being super cheap? Tell us what you think in the comments. I'm CK Kimball with the Tundra Enthusiast Network, and thanks for watching.